Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 33. That is, what is security testing? Let me answer. Security testing falls into the non-functional testing category. Okay, security testing falls into the security testing falls into the non-functional testing category. Functional testing category where the testing is performed. Okay, security testing falls into the non-functional testing category where the testing is performed to identify security loopholes in the application. Why the security testing is performed on the application? Testing is performed on the application. Testing is performed on the application to identify security loopholes. To identify the security loopholes and get these loopholes, that is security loopholes, fixed by developers. And get these loopholes fixed by developers. Why? Why the? Why we have to identify the security loopholes and get them fixed uh, fixed by developers with an intention of okay the reason is with an intention of intention of protecting the application from getting hacked by hackers okay if we don't perform security testing on the application and if we don't identify the security loopholes in advance and get them fixed by developers what happens guys then hackers will take advantage where they will identify the security loopholes and they will hack the application with the possible loopholes in the application. So that's why we have to perform secure testing. And that's what is called as secure testing. Okay. In simple words, secure testing is performed to identify the security loopholes in the application. That is what in simple words we can call secure testing as. So here there is one more word for security loopholes. Okay. There is one more word we generally use in real time for security loopholes that is known as vulnerability. Okay, the security loopholes are called as vulnerabilities. Okay, technically they are called as vulnerabilities in security testing. Okay, so now you understood what exactly is secure testing. Let me give an example, guys. Okay, let me give an example. So, what is the example? I'll take you to this application, guys. Okay, and a sample application is here, right? This particular application, I'll take you demo.testfire.net. Okay, let's go for that application demo.testfire.net net okay dot net like this i'll hit the url you'll be taken to this application so don't perform security testing on all the applications okay so there are a lot of applications on the web right you are not entitled okay or authorized to perform secure testing on real applications okay if you try to do so they will treat you as a hacker guys okay so my advice is my here advice is don't perform secure testing here and there on the application that you are not authorized to perform. So there are some dummy applications where you can perform, or there are some demo applications or dummy applications where you can practice security testing. One of the application is demo.sy.net. You see, they are allowing you to perform the here they mentioned, right? You are okay to it's okay to practice security testing here. That's what they are saying. Okay, that's why we have chosen this application. I'll now show you one scenario. Okay, I'll show you one scenario, guys. Okay, using which you will understand how security testing can be performed. So let's do one thing. Let me uh, open the application again. Demo dot test by dot net. Okay. So here I'll take you to the sign in page, guys. Okay. I'll take you to the sign in page of this application. If you have the correct credentials, okay. If you are a registered person, okay. If you have a registered user, then only you can provide the proper credentials here, and you should be able to log in. But I'll show you a case where you can log into this application without even having a valid credentials. Okay. So how to do that? So I'll show you guys. Okay. So there's one example here. You see, I'll I'll run this payload, guys. Okay. I'll run this payload. In case of username, instead of giving a valid username here, I'll pass this payload. The payload says iPhone. Okay. Single quote or one is equal to one. iPhone hyphen. Like this, I'll pass the username and I, I can pass any password. Guys. It doesn't matter what password you are passing. You can pass pass any random password a b c d x y z kind of okay and here in the username i'm passing this uh, one of the payload okay so that hacker can do the same thing guys a hacker will try to give this kind of payload and give any password and click on the login even though i don't have the proper credentials i'm able to get the access to the not only the normal user guys i'm going to get the access for the admin user 
I'm getting the access for the admin account of this application. That means I can do a lot of stuff, right? I can I can uh, delete the accounts and have now the permissions to do a lot of stuff. I can transfer the amount from one account to another account which I'm not authorized for, right? All the people who have an account with this application, I can transfer the funds without their permission now because I have the admin access now directly. So that much dangerous this is, right? This is what the hacker will do in real time, guys. He will try to insert this kind of payloads, okay? With some random password and all this kind of payloads he will insert and get access even though he doesn't have access and can do a lot like transferring the funds and sensitive information and he can breach the sensitive information of yours and all those stuff will happen guys okay so to avoid this to avoid this we we will we will we will also behave like hackers for a while okay as part of testing we'll behave like hackers and try to give the same payload that hackers will give in advance and if you are able to find this particular thing that we are able to access the application with this kind of payload then immediately we are we as software testers are going to report this particular defect to the developers and developers have to fix them so that tomorrow hackers will not follow the same procedure and hack the application and get the advantage of the application okay so hope guys you understood what exactly is secure testing now so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer the next software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye